Hi, this is Sieg Schmalz, Applications Engineer at Microchip Technology. So, you want to get more knowledgeable about PCIe? Well, you have two choices. A, you could read the latest standards distributed by the PCIe committee, which, by the way, is over a thousand pages. Or B, you could suffer through a few minutes of listening to me. It's your choice. Well, it appears that you decided to watch this video to get an overview of PCIe data. Um, wait a minute, things don't look quite right here. <laughs> Give me a moment. Ah, they're much better. The Peripheral Component Interconnect Express Bus Standard, better known by the acronym PCIe, is a high-speed serial bus standard that is one, point-to-point, -point, two, bidirectional, three, scalable to accommodate varying bandwidth needs, four, backwards compatible with previous PCIe versions, and five, widely adopted across many markets. First, let's discuss point to point. Point to point simply means that there is one participant at each endpoint, such as in a telephone call. So for example, if device A wants to communicate with device B, it will do so over a PCIe data link. And I'll describe what a data link is in more detail a bit later. A PCIe bus is bidirectional, which means that each participant can both transmit data and receive data. Specifically, PCIe uses what we call dual simplex as the implementation for this simultaneous two-way communication. Let's break this down here. Simplex means that there is one-way communication on a physical connection, and dual means two. So put that together and we get dual simplex is two physical connections, which are shown in green here, each of which is one way to or from each endpoint. Each of these dual simplex connections is called a lane. There may be times where you do not need the full data throughput of the maximum 16 lanes available in a PCIe bus. In that case, you can use fewer lanes. It is scalable. You perhaps use one lane, perhaps four. You can choose your number of lanes. But in any case, no matter how many lanes you choose, the combination of all those lanes between point A and point B is called one data link. An analogous way to think about this is to consider automobile traffic. Let's say, for example, we have a one lane road where the speed limit is 50 kilometers per hour. In a given amount of time, a certain number of cars can pass by a point on the road. In other words, it can handle a certain amount of traffic. Now let's double the speed limit of the road to 100 kilometers per hour. We have now doubled the number of cars that can pass through a point in a given amount of time. And therefore we have doubled the throughput of that road. Similarly, we can continue to increase the throughput of that road by increasing the number of lanes. Now let's bring this back to PCIe. Each successive generation of the PCIe standard has increased the data traffic throughput, as shown here. Four lanes of PCIe 2, for example, has a throughput of 2 gigabytes per second. If we were to expand that to the maximum 16 lanes, the data traffic throughput capability increases to 8 gigabytes per second. Now let's do the same for a PCIe 5 bus. Four lanes has a capability of 16 gigabytes per second, and the maximum throughput is 64 gigabytes per second. You may want to pause the video here to look at this table more closely. Each PCIe version is backwards compatible to previous versions. When endpoints contain devices that are from different PCIe versions, the lanes automatically function at the slower data rate of the earlier PCIe version. PCIe applications have expanded far beyond the original PC market to include, for example, data centers, storage systems, servers, vehicle-based systems, communication networks and infrastructure, consumer devices, instrumentation, and so much more.
One quick note here, the rest of the videos in this series will focus on issues related to the heartbeat of a PCIe system, which is its reference clock. The reference clock that drives PCIe components is usually 100 MHz with HCSL as the output format. In the following videos, we will also cover our complete breadth of PCIe clocks that include oscillators, multi-output devices, spread spectrum solutions, and buffers for clock distribution. The MX55, for example, is an oscillator with an integrated crystal and very low jitter. Another option is the DSA-1204, which is an oscillator with integrated MEMS resonator. It is very reliable and AEC-Q100 qualified for automotive use. If you need it, we have it. Well, that wraps up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you'd like more information, feel free to visit our website at this link.